it looks as if people have come from miles around to check out some reptiles. Hello everyone and welcome Tampa J here. Florida is full of many amphibious and reptile creatures such as alligator, frogs, snakes, lizards. Well, they all come together to one place today here at the Florida State Fairgrounds at Repticon, a reptile convention. Let's get inside and check it out. There is much ahead. So Repticon has been going on since 1977. And if you look, it's a pretty popular event. You can actually hold and pet the alligator. Look at this couple taking an awesome photo opportunity. But over here in the corner, it looks like we have a, a tortoise. Look at that guy. Oh, he's having a little lunch. These guys are huge. Oh, he likes that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jelly Bean. He's an Argentine red tegu. Jelly Bean is 25 years old, folks. And he has a male. I've never seen as many snakes as this in my whole entire life. Camera. Well, here he comes. So, what are we dealing with here? This is a uh, 2017 male uh, banana super Mojave. Banana snake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. What's your name? Thomas Jones. Thomas Jones? Yep. Well, thanks, Thomas Jones. Yes, sir. Now, I think I'm brave enough to actually try to hold this thing. You should. Okay, let's do it. I just grab it. Like, yeah, just grab he, it. He won't bite you. You're good. Okay. Cool. Wow. This is a. Uh... Oh, he feels pretty cool. Different than I expected, like rubber. I can't remember the last time I actually held a snake. Nice little banana snake. He's kind of cute. I like him. Hi guys, so I'm Adam, um, otherwise known as the Articulate Reptile. I do custom, specialized skeletal articulations and displays of reptiles and amphibians, although I'll do other exotics. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at the Articulate Reptile. So. All right, well thanks Adam, it's really cool what you do. I really dig in this, uh, what species was this? Uh, that's a retake. That's a retake? Yeah, reticulated python. Reticulated python. Very cool, man, so check them out. Looks like I found an awesome booth with an awesome name, Guardians of the Geckos. Well, it looks like we have a, uh, a, num a numerous amount of geckos in front yep. of us. These are all crested geckos on this side from New Caledonia. It's an island chain just northeast of Australia. Oh, wow. Australian geckos. Yep. What's this this is a gargoyle gecko, same island, just a little bit different species. Oh, cool. And then this guy is really awesome. This is a giant gecko. Largest gecko species in the world. Wow. A lichianus. A lichianus. And this is a baby a cell. He's, he's going to get about the size of my forearm, actually, wow. when he's fully grown. That's incredible, man. He's quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Brian. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys, I have to express to you, I am overwhelmed. I didn't expect such a great turnout for this festival, but it's a really cool place. It's a great place to educate yourself on reptiles and amphibious creatures, but also a great place to have fun, and I hope you're having fun. All right, so I'm going to start this one off by actually holding an alligator. And you just grab him by the tail, and then just grab by the neck, kind of suspend him a little bit, yeah. calms him down, and then you'll be able to... Like this? Yep, just like that. And then oh, wow. rub underneath the neck, they, they like it. They like it underneath the neck. Whoa, check this out, guys. I've got an alligator. An albino one, too. Look at that. Whoa, he's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, man, he's, he's lighter than I thought he'd be. About two years old. Two years old. Look at this. Oh, look at them fangs. Ooh. Two month old black alligator here. Little baby. And they say they really like it to be rubbed right there on the neck. He's really cute. Check him out. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> Beautiful creatures. A lot more calm than I. Uh, than I expected. Now I know some of you are thinking these are the only reptiles that you're going to touch. Cute little gator here. 
And of course, with any trade comes the tools, and here are some tools of the trade. Check out these giant tweezers. Holy cow. Look how big these things are. And these giant shears. Wow. I think every Florida home should have one of these because you, you never know when you're going to have a snake pop up underneath the car one morning or in the backyard. I kind of like these heavy duty ones here. Check this out. Look at that. Whoa. Super strong. All right, now this looks like more of a convention to me. We got comic books. I found the comic books for $2 next to some more snakes. There's another banana pewter and a banana champagne. Looks like we got some gnarly dragons over here. All right, we're gonna go down the bearded dragon elevator here. We're starting with this female, this hippo hot trans. Yeah, we're gonna go down to Luna here. Look at her, look this way. Down one more level. And here's Blondie. Me too. Either way, whether you buy one or not, you make lots of money. Look, she's looking right at the camera. Hey there, Bellina. And then this last one, a male here. He's looking the other way. The bearded dragons here at Gnarly Dragons. Look at this giant iguana. He's cool, man. Very cool. How much do they weigh? A couple pounds. Cool. Look at this long snake skin. Oh man. Look at that. Look how far it goes down this long cage here. These two cages are full of pythons. And check out Goofy. He might be the largest snake here. Holy cow. I'm going to step back out so you can see just how large these cages are. Looks like I've found the largest lizard here. A black throat monitor. Check him out. He's looking right at us. He's a big dude. Yeah. That's wow. Heavy. His name is Blue. Is Blue a female or a male? It is a male. It is a male. So we do yep, have a male a, Blue. He's a breeder male. Um, he hasn't gotten himself lucky with a female yet. But Not lucky yet, huh? Anybody who's got one. <laughs> he's searching for a mate. Always. Always. Come on, stick your tongue out, buddy. Give us one. They can take all four corners as a female. There it goes. You're my boy, Blue. Yeah, you're my boy. All kinds of reptiles boxed up in plastic cases all throughout the convention. And here's one booth with many little geckos. Not only is this convention full of reptiles, there is reptile paraphernalia of all sorts, shapes and sizes, including cages, feed, and all kinds of cool things you can put inside of your reptile cage and check this out what is this this is like a, a fake tree here at the exoterra looks like a brand there but all kinds of cool stuff and there's many booths like this looks like we have some reptile hammocks here a nice little hammock there and a repta leash we have a repta leash put your lizard on a leash And of course, if you want to keep a reptile, you got to feed a reptile. And right here is a box of frozen mice. Oh, wow. Look at, oh no. Poor little things. It's the circle of life, my friends. Circle of life. Here, little pick, 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 Does he have a name or she have a name? Irma. 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 Summer, yeah, someone put her in a trash can and... You found her after Irma. Yes. So, check out Irma, ladies and gentlemen. We're all Irma survivors here. Five percent time. All right, so we have a blue albino tegu named Beatrice, right? Beatrix. Beatrix. I'm gonna pet her. Oh wow. She's friendly. Yeah. She's very, very After nice Beatrix. little girl. Tropical reptiles and <laughs> exotics where they genetically engineer the color of these tigus. Look at that one. He's having a little meal over here. Oh wow. Now understand if you want to use these 
inside of your lizard cage or something like this. But now this, now that's a little creepy. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Looks like we have more than reptiles here today. Look at this beautiful owl. What type of owl is this? This is a barred owl, B-A-R-R-E-D, and that's for the bars and stripes on the body. Oh, wow. They hunt at night. They are a dark-eyed owl. Dark-eyed owl. Wow, that's beautiful. A bird of prey here. And this smooth-sided toad is looking right at us. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, you winked at me. <laughs> This has to be one of the prettiest snakes I've ever seen. This is a emerald tree boa. Check him out, checking out everyone else. So this is going to be the end of it. Thank you for joining me for Repticon 2018. It's been a most excellent time and I had a great time. I touched a lot of reptiles today. Snakes, alligators, lizards, frogs, you name it. It was all here today and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever get a chance, check out a reptile convention. I hope you're surprised as much as I was today. That was fun. I learned a lot too. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching again. If it's your first time here and you'd like to join me for my next adventure, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know where I'm going next. Know you're awesome, know you're excellent, love all, and love always. Well, all that being said, I'm in the belly of a snake now. Thought it'd be a cool place to end it. There is much ahead, my friends. Very much ahead. About to get snake bit here. Look at these things. Woo! Bye bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.